Gerard the Bod with us. But have you ever patient Rod the Bod? But no, that, that I that's it's fascinating to talk about all that and and to talk about complicated figures too because I think Lincoln was complicated a complicated man too. Rod the Bod, how you doing, brother? And thanks so much for I'm indulging well. me here to, this morning and letting well, me. Well, listen, Jamie. Uh, anytime I can get a history lesson for free without having to pay for it, hey, I, I just you know, there you <laughs> go. My IQ just went up a little bit. Right I'm on. learning some history. No, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Uh, obviously, big week last week in D.C. Uh, and and a lot to cover, but there's a lot going on in Jefferson City, Jamie. And one of the things that just sort of has gotten some some attention, and I'd love to get your take or your listeners' take, is you know we have term limits for most of the office holders in Missouri, with the exception of a couple, a couple that we've known very well. The Lieutenant Governor has no term limit, and neither does the Attorney General. So there's a move now, and Governor Greitens kicked this off last week in his um, in his uh, inaugural address. He wanted to call for term limits on all statewide officers, and surprisingly, in a recent poll, that has received about 70% of approval from those polls. So we could potentially have more term limits in Missouri for those two officers that have been unturned. And this is just one of those new things that comes up when you get a new administration that hadn't been talked about. I've been around. Yeah, no doubt. So now, this week, uh, we're going to see some action on right to work, correct? Jamie, we saw big action last week. Last week, while everybody in the nation was focusing on D.C., the Missouri House passed right to work, a version that will be signable by the governor, and, and he's waiting for it. And so that is moved to the Senate, the House bill. And that's a pretty fast track for the first week of session. And so that bill's out of the House, right to out of the House, and it's going through the Senate. The Senate will hear it in committee and get it to the floor. And the question is how fast will the Senate move on that legislation and potentially get it to the governor? And I anticipate it's, uh, it's, it's got jets on it, absolutely. And we're seeing term limits, too? What's, what's going to happen with this? Well, I, I, you know, this is a conversation that hasn't that was interjected right into the front queue of the, of the debate by the governor. Governor Greitens called for it, so I think it's, it, and now there seems to be some momentum around it. It will be interesting to see how um, legislation gets formed around putting terms on all statewide officers. We have term limits on the governor. We don't have term limits on the attorney general or the lieutenant governor. I suspect you're probably going to see something come out of the legislature that puts that issue before the people. Obviously, we have to have a vote of the people to change those terms, but I think it's something that could get some momentum. The other issue that we haven't talked a lot about on your show, but the House also passed legislation or is going to talk about legislation this week, and you'll hear more about it, as it relates to whether or not we have a state regulation or a statewide framework for the companies like Uber and Lyft and the transportation networks. And and that's an issue that kind of picked up a little bit last year. We didn't get to the, we didn't get across the finish line. It'll be back this year. So this this week in the House. And the House passed ethics reform. So the House had a big week last week, Jamie. I know we had a lot going on in D.C., but the Missouri House was passing right to work, which was significant, and they were passing ethics reform bills, and they were beginning to talk about term limits for statewide office holders and other big ticket issues. So a lot going on early, yeah. early in session since you last left. Since yeah, you come left on, let's, let's get the taxes. When are they going to do that? I mean, come on. I mean, I, they keep nothing, well, and then they're going to have tort Jamie, reform. About, let's get the taxes. Topic. Your point is well taken. Here's the challenge on taxes. It has to be done surgically. I think Governor Greitens learned a quick lesson, lesson about the budget when he initially realized that he had a $250 or so million dollar budget shortfall. So he is actually withholding. He's cutting, abrogating spending on about $250 million. The fiscal year, for your listeners who might not follow as closely as you and I do, is really July to June 30. So we're kind of getting into the middle of it right now. So it is a significant issue when the governor withholds money in the middle of the fiscal year so that the budget can remain balanced. That's where we are. Any kind of tax cut conversation is going to have to be put in the context of revenues that are coming in, revenues that are allocated to go out, the, the, the main constitutional, state constitutional responsibility is to fund public education, K-12 essentially, and, and and so those are the issues now that are being bantied about. The governor, is he's taking a hard look at the budget. Uh, obviously, we have a legislature that would like more tax cuts, but you're going to have to tie those cuts to decrease spending. You're going to have to cut some of the spending out, and there are conversations about cutting tax credits or conversations about cutting 
other potential uh, governors even talked about cutting the state employee numbers uh, as a way to have less state employees. He, he had a big comparison in terms of the number of our state employees versus other states that were similar in size. So there are, those conversations are happening, but it, I think you're going to see a much more methodical, uh, surgical approach to the budget, which will probably lend itself to a conversation about tax reductions. But yeah. I don't know if I see anything in this session. Well, that's that's too bad. But um, that's 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 not I, I that's too bad to hear that. So we've got everybody else taken care of except for most of Missouri. Yeah. Oh, well, well. Look, I mean, it, okay. it's, it's going to happen, Jamie. I think it's just a matter. It's a function of a new governor trying to get his arms around what this budget entails and what cuts right. should be made. I got and you. How, and how to do it. Okay. Yeah. All right, Rod the Bod, always good to talk to you. Don't forget about Insider Talk here on FM News Talk 97.1 from 12 to 1. Thanks a lot, friend. Thank you, sir. All right, it's Common Sense Radio.